Hi, my name is James Choi. I'm part of Intel P4 OBS team, and I'd like to talk to you about converting OpenFlow to P4 today. When you look at a P4 uh, OpenFlow tables and controllers, each table is used for a particular function, and that function requires fairly limited, well-defined set of header fields to work with and actions to take. We want to preserve those information and use it to optimally offload the open flow table function to data path. If you have a, a table for L3 lookup, you want to use algorithm that supports longest prefix match on destination IP. Here's a fairly simplistic illustration that contrasts suboptimal and optimal <coughs> offloading based on whether OBS has enough information on table keys and actions to uh, optimally offload to data path. As is, we don't believe OpenFlow alone can support this type of optimal off off offloading. Talking about the difficulties of optimizing, <coughs> optimizing for uh, OpenFlow, uh, in OpenFlow, there is no explicit control flow mechanism, no explicit statements like F and Ls to control table rule evaluation sequences and the priority-based uh, control flow uh, is too simplistic. It's true that the rule entries can be used for control flow purposes. However, those rules are obfuscated by uh, other lookup rule entries. You wanna take only the lookup rule entries and optimally offload to data path. OBS can distinguish between the control flow rules and the lookup rule without some help. Also, there is no limit on match key fields that can be used in a table. Uh, it's hard to optimize data path for a known set of logical lookup tables and a known set of fields. Similarly, there is no limit on set of action sequences that can be used. It's hard to optimize for a known set of rule actions in the data path. Because of these uh, difficulties, devices offload uh, data path uh, network flows in generic and suboptimal ways. We believe that P4 provides a way for OBS to obtain the user's intent of each OpenFlow tables through mapping of OpenFlow tables to P4 tables. Let me elaborate a bit on P4. A P4 program can describe uh, data plane pipelines in more precisely precise way which makes it easier to optimize. The order of table evaluation is explicitly defined. The lookup key fields and the actions are defined to only for desired fields and only for sequence uh, of actions are needed. With a full pipeline specified in a single program, a compiler can be utilized to map all P4 tables in a program to the target data path as optimal as, as possible as uh, with the consideration of target pipeline capabilities in mind. For mapping uh, <clears throat> of OpenFlow to P4, this needs to be done manually, uh, along with the P4 tables and the control flow definitions. It is the essence of the P4 uh, program that, you, that one needs to write. Uh, and uh, the advantages of P4 tables uh, ultimately in the, uh, sum up to uh, being able to optimize uh, uh, usage of the uh, software and hardware blocks uh, by the uh, tables. Here uh, you can see a uh, uh, sample P4 program. And some of the points that I just talked about can be seen in this uh, in this uh, diagram here. Um, action sequences, uh, key, uh, exact key types and the key type of lookup that needs to be done, limited set of actions that can be taken given a table and uh, control uh, flow statements. Uh, let's talk about the uh, steps involved in creating a people program and running on a device. Uh, this illustration on the left side shows the steps in writing and compiling a P4 program. And the right hand side shows the components of a P4 or VS and interaction with the controllers. Uh, 
uh, first step is to take the uh, known network uh, tables and create uh, P4 tables. So the second step is to uh, identify the uh, control flow information from uh, uh, overflow uh, DB tables and encode these uh, P, uh, P4 control flows. And third step, uh, second, as part of second step, is also to uh, find the actions that is associated with the lookup uh, <coughs> uh, entries and uh, encode them in the P4 program as well. So once the P4 program is coded, uh, you want to compile it and uh, two outputs uh, come out. One is used for uh, runtime and one is used for data plane. And uh, <clears throat> once this is encoded into P4 OBS, you want to you, uh, you want to create the flows and those uh, flows need to have the annotation that maps from uh, open flow tables to P4 tables. And that's uh, enough to have a um, uh, P4-driven uh, pipeline running uh, with the open flow rules. And the next step is, is uh, to encode the P4 runtime information in the open flow controller and have it encoded in, as a message. And even the next step after that would be to embed the uh, P4 information in the uh, oven, oven flow DB, something similar to uh, southbound DB in oven. And uh, even the step after that would be to uh, have a P4 information in the uh, P4 aware controller and use P4 runtime to communicate with the uh, P4 OBS. In summary, uh, people can better encode your program. Ideally, uh, you would have your uh, controller talk P4 runtime, but there is also an approach where you can use P4 for the data plane and continue to use OpenFlow as an RPC between controller and vSwitch. This can be done by mapping OpenFlow entries to P4 tables with annotations. Uh, immediately following two talks from Deb and Namrata and then contain much more inform information regarding Intel's P4 OBS program. Thank you.